Hello and welcome to the another tutorial on our Next.js series. In this tutorial, we will talk about routing using app router with Next.js. There are two types of router available in Next.js. One is app router and another is page router. But in this tutorial, we will majorly focus on app router. Next.js supports dynamic as well as nested routes. In this diagram, you can see that the top level node is app and then it is getting segregated into nested routes which is blog and dashboard. The blog and dashboard are basically the subtree of the app folder and which will become the root for the other nested routes. So when you try to access the profile page, profile is a leaf for the settings page and settings is the leaf for the dashboard page and dashboard is the leaf of the root. You can call dashboard and settings as the segment, example.com as a domain and slash as the route as we go inside the nested folders. Okay, let's see a practical example for this. Let's try to build an application. So npx create quick next app at latest space learning hyphen app hyphen router. Would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. Would you like to use ESLint? Yes. Tailwind? Yes. Source directory? Yes. App router? Yes. Customizing the import alias? No. Okay. Now it is installing the dependencies required for installation. Okay. As you can see, it is created successfully. Now let's try to run our application. First, let's try to get inside the application. So I'll do cd learning app router so now let's try to run it to run our next.js application what is the command npm run as you can see it is ready now let's try to launch our application so this is the default route where like if I put even slash this is the default route where our page is loading inside source we have an app folder and inside app folder we have these files like favicon.ico, globals.css, layout.psx and page.psx for now as we have to understand just the routing we will just focus on page.psx okay we will even discuss about the layout.psx in the upcoming tutorials Talking about page.tsx, if you can see this page.tsx, it has all the code. Let's do one thing. Let's try to remove this file and see what happens. Okay. And even let's try to delete the layout.tsx as well. If you can see, Next.js automatically handles, first of all, it's uh, supporting fast refresh so that your routes are automatically loading. And second thing is, it automatically caters 404 page as soon as your page goes or page is not found on your files. Right? So on your routing, if that page is not available, it will show 404 automatically. Even though you can customize these pages and we will talk about that in the later phases of the tutorial. But for now, what we can understand is Next.js is powerful enough to automatically do a lot of stuff. You need to have an app folder to support the app router. That is the basic need. And secondly, you need to have a page.psx to render the UI on a particular path. Let's try to understand this little deeper. Let's try to create a page.psx inside the app folder. New file page.psx. 
TS X. If you can see, as soon as I created the page dot TSX, it has also created layout dot TSX. So Next.js is powerful enough to understand that a page dot TSX is created inside app and now it has to also create a layout on top of it to support the additional features that layouts of Next.js provides. For now, we will not discuss about the layout. Let's focus on the page dot TSX. <clears throat> If you see now I have a page.tsx which is empty. If I go to the route and see that this page is loading an error which says the default export is not a react component in page. Basically next.js page.tsx will always expect a react component to be exported. Let's try to export a react component. Export default function home ok let's have a h2 and inside h2 let's call it welcome to home page I'll save it so as you can see you have created a page and now your app root page.tsx is serving as the home page or root level route of this application. Let's try to um, create a folder named about or section or something like that. Right? Let's create a new folder named about. Once I created about, if I do slash about, will it work? No, this is not working, right? So basically, again, Next.js is expecting page.tsx. Let's do one thing. Let's try to create a file inside about, which is page.tsx. Okay, as soon as we have created the page, we can see there is an error because we are not exporting any React component from here. Let's try to export a React component. Let's copy the code from the home page.tsx. And let's rename it to about about page. Let's try to save it. Now, as you can see, your new route is generated with about. And if I go back to the slash route, basically it's the home page. So this is how you generate the routes with Next.js. Next.js also supports special files like layout, loading, not found, error, global error, route, template, and default. We will discuss about these files in the later phases of the tutorial. Next.js supports dynamic routes as well as nested routes. Let's try to understand what is a nested route. Inside about, let's create a page called carrier and for that we need to create a folder inside about. Let's name it carrier. Okay. So again, every folder should have the page.tsx as we discussed. So let's create a file named page.tsx. Okay, let's try to uh, use the arrow function export method. Okay, and uh, let's try to return something here. Like I am a carrier page. Okay, let's try to check if, if something works. Slash carrier. No, it's page not found because uh, carrier doesn't sits inside the app folder. It sits inside the about folder. So you need to do slash about slash carrier. So slash about goes to about page and slash carrier goes to again there is some problem I think there is some problem uh, let's see what is the problem yeah we have not exported this let's try to export it ok 
okay let's try to render it yeah it works as expected so if you can see here right these are the this is the nested route where like slash we have the domain which is gonna be like any example.com or something then your slash which is gonna be the root of the project the root route and then you have the about slash carrier which is going to be your nested route you can nest it at n levels so to revise if you can see you have a page.tsx on the root which behaves for slash you have a page.tsx inside about which works for your about page and you have a <coughs> page.tsx for the carrier page which works for your carrier so this is it about the app router used for routing in Next.js. We will try to dive deeper inside the routing section of the Next.js in the upcoming tutorials. It will not take more than half an hour to go through this exercise and understand these concepts of the Next.js by yourself. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Please do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you so much for watching.